Hey, friendo, Steve here. Welcome back to Coming Out Raw. It's very late right now. I'm kind of ready to go to bed, but I got your raw results anyways. It's kind of a weird raw. Raw is definitely feeling the effects of having way too many people injured. This whole Roman Reigns not being around situation is bizarre. It's like you're building to WrestleMania, but you're building to a pay-per-view. And I don't, I don't care what you call it. I, it might not be on pay-per-view, network special, whatever you want to call it. But you're building to a special event in between Fastlane and WrestleMania. I, it, it doesn't make any sense. And the, oddly enough, I'm actually kind of digging where they're going to roadblock roadhouse whatever it's fucking called anyways i got your raw results right here <clears throat> shane mcmahon came out and demonstrated why a i'm gonna guess 50 year old man uh with uh, a couple of instagram videos of training can take on four young impressively built indie wrestlers um he took them all out i guess that was a show of his strength if he could do that, he can be the Undertaker. It didn't. I I was hoping. I was really hoping this would be the opening the door to uh, <laughs> to somebody else wrestling on Shane's behalf. I okay. Moving on. Uh, Neville versus Kevin Owens this is a really good match. Um, and then at the end, Sami Zayn came out and attacked Kevin Owens. Looks like they're going to WrestleMania. Uh, Ambrose got his hands on trip. Oh, that was at the end. I'm looking at the WWE raw highlights right here. So this is going to be kind of out of order. Dean Ambrose. Uh, oh yeah. Dean Ambrose talk, uh, came out and cut a promo. Triple H cut a promo on him. Um, Bray Wyatt. Then I guess that was set up for Bray Wyatt and Dean Ambrose to go it in the, in the main event. Um, Chris Jericho and AJ Styles versus the new day for the tag championships. The new day. What? And then Chris Jericho turned on AJ Styles at a really very, very effective heel turn. Not exactly sure why, but it looks like it's going to be Chris Jericho versus AJ Styles 4 at WrestleMania. I'm actually kind of in favor of this. I'm okay with this, being honest with you. I think Jericho and AJ have good chemistry in the ring, and I think that they can elevate their games um, for WrestleMania. I think it'll be a solid match. It'll be a, a, a good sleeper match for us. Let's see what else here. Stephanie McMahon warns her father about Shane. Uh, let's see here. Dolph Ziggler took on Seamus Rusev and King Barrett. Um, and he lost. I mean, that's not surprising. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks took on uh, uh, Naomi and Tamina. I think that and I think that had like a dusty finish of some sort. I don't know. I don't know how that one ended. ended. Uh I know that Charlotte interfered, I think. So I think maybe they lost. I don't know. Charlotte's awesome. I love her. Brie Bella versus Summer Rae. I did not even know this match was on. I think I saw Brie Bella come out. And then I just got tuned out. I don't care. Callisto versus Tyler Breeze. Callisto beat Tyler Breeze for the U.S. title. Was this a U.S. title match? I don't even know. And it was Tyler Breeze, so he was going to lose. Um, and then, of course, Ryback. He fought Curtis Axel and won, and then backstage he delivered the promo of the year. Um, it was like a conversational thing with him and Callisto, and Ryback just delivered this long diatribe that was completely scripted, and he was just straight reading this damn thing. It was horrible. It was hilarious. I loved it. I thought it was great. Uh, let's see here. What am I missing? Uh, Our truth attempts uh, to give... Goldust a pizza and Goldust said that he's going to have an exploding butt if he eats that. I like how they've turned this around. Look, it's pro wrestling. It's supposed to entertain. This makes me laugh. You can't take it too seriously too much. Uh, let's see here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So Ambrose in the main event. I don't know what I'm missing. But Ambrose in the main event took on Bray Wyatt. Of course, the Wyatt family interfered. We had a Duff Definic and nobody won. And then Triple H came down. There was an interesting moment. There at the end when Bray Wyatt confronted Triple H. And this is what I'm talking about when I say the Wyatt family. They are always relevant no matter who they job to. Because at any moment they can be injected into the main event scene and it will be compelling. They can job to the big show as much as they want. But they can be inserted legitimately into the main event scene and it will make sense and it could possibly be compelling. And you can't say that about anybody else. So... Um, yeah, he touched Triple H's 
championship belt. It was kind of cool. Then they left. Triple H tried to beat up on Dean Ambrose, but Dean Ambrose gave him the dirty deeds and left Triple H lying. And then uh, Ambrose picked up the belt, and that's where the show stopped. So, yeah, there's your coming out raw. Big boss man in the Hall of Fame, too. So, not really sure that's deserved. But he made for some entertaining moments in the Attitude Era, I guess. Anyways, that's coming out raw. Be sure to check out Going In Raw tomorrow. Um, We'll talk about all this stuff and a lot, lot more. So, uh, be sure to you guys tune in over at the YouTube.com forward slash Stephen Larson channel. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later.